The other part of the equation is the R-37M missile. So apparently in the mid-80s, soon after the MiG-31 entered service, a successor for the R-33 was considered. But the program was one of the many victims of the fall of the Soviet Union. It was picked up again in the late 2000s, deeply modernized, given an active seeker, and it enters service in 2018. It is a two-stage weapon optimized for long-range engagement, and it is bloody fast. The top speed, usually reached at the beginning of the flight, may vary between Mach 5 and Mach 7, depending on the launch parameters. The max range is about 400 kilometers, which honestly is outrageous. The practical range against a maneuvering target should be no more than 150 to 200 kilometers. And the MiG-31 has a radar then can actually detect and designate a non-stealth target at those distances. So it's easy to understand why it was the ideal platform for such a weapon. To be fair, the Airbus radar on the Su-35 is not much less potent than the Zaslon, and it is way more sophisticated. But the aircraft is much more versatile than the MiG-31, so it can effectively use the lighter R-77. In the recent months, I'm recording this in January 2023, a slow but steady stream of Ukrainian losses have been attributed to the R-37M, mostly launched by MiG-31s.